Good morning. It is Sunday. It is our seventh day of the 21 days of prayer and fasting. So I hope that you're up, that you're at it, that you're getting ready to watch online with us this week. Just remember, next week we will be back in the building. Excited for that. Uh, so, but today, uh, this morning, or maybe whenever you're watching this, whenever you're doing your uh, time of devotion, uh, we are going to just spend some time and just pray uh, for our church for uh, those who come and those in our community to worship Jesus. That's what we're going to pray for. Um, ben and our band do a great job in leading us uh, in worship and song. But worship is more than just singing. You, you're familiar with the passage in John chapter 4. Jesus says, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. And so it, 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 the scripture does speak of singing songs, hymns, and spiritual songs, but that's not the, the breadth of, um, of worship. And we want people, we want our church to worship God with everything that they are, with singing, yes, with giving, yes, with serving, yes, with loving your spouses like uh, like scriptures teach us to, and loving your children and doing all those things. All those things uh, are worship uh, if we do them as unto the Lord. And so I want to remind you of a passage. Uh, uh, well, this is the passage I want you to really kind of focus in on uh, today. You can read Hebrews chapter 12. But at the end of uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28 says, Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, and thus let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. That passage just reminds us of the greatness and the, just the, the, the amazing things that God gives to us in his kingdom. And so the end, it says, because of this, let us worship. Yes, let us sing. Let us just stand in reverence and awe of his power and majesty. Um, what There are many ways that we can worship. And so today, let's pray that we worship God wholly, truthfully, um, in spirit and in truth. So again, we thank Ben and our and our uh, um, our worship team and worship band, and so thankful for their commitment every week uh, uh, to um, lead us into worship. But even now, we pray uh, together that God would make us a body that worship Jesus in all that we do. Let's pray. God, thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for your salvation, your forgiveness, your love. Lord, thank you for your power and majesty. And thank you for your provision. And God, because of those things and many, many more, we want to be considered and known through the world. And even in this uh, community that we live in. We want to be known as worshipers of the one true God. We want to be worshipers of Jesus. So God, help us not to worship things. Help us not to worship comfort or riches. Help us not to idolize those things. But help our hearts and our minds worship you in everything that we do. Help us to be worshipers of you. Show us where we have fallen short. Show us where we can become better worshipers of you. Not of things, not of stuff. Not of comfort, not of peace on earth. But become worshipers of you, the Prince of Peace, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. God, we pray we ask, guide us in that. Help us to see what your word says about how to truly worship you. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen.